A large group of protesters were in the Ballard or were at Ballard Locks today to support the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe in North Dakota. They're protesting the construction of the Dakota Access Pipeline, which has drawn protesters to Standing Rock for months. Activists worry the pipeline would release oil into the Missouri River and onto sacred tribal land. It would carry about a hundred hundreds of thousands of gallons of oil through a handful of states every day. Tonight, the grounds of the Ballard Lock shut down as hundreds of people gathered to protest a multi-billion dollar oil pipeline hundreds of miles away in North Dakota. This week, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers halted the project to study the impact, but the company behind the construction is trying to push forward. Como's Joel Marino is live in Ballard, where protesters chose that location very deliberately, didn't they, Joel? Oh, absolutely, Eric and Mary. The uh, Chittenden Locks, they are overseen by the Army Corps of Engineers, and that is the same agency that is overseeing the pipeline project. Now, tonight, vessel traffic, it still got through, but security locked up pedestrian access to the park. However, that didn't stop the protesters. The drum beat like a heartbeat rang out to bring this protest to life. People of all nations have, have come to this cause. Activists came to denounce the Dakota Access Pipeline, which they say could pollute water supplies and destroy sacred tribal sites in North Dakota. They want to have their oil and they're going to, you know, dig up graves and and disrupt everything. This water is just not for or from the indigenous people or indigenous land. It's going to affect millions of people. Many we Water Yes, it is. Pipeline opponents put little faith in the delay ordered by President Obama to halt the project until tribal concerns can be addressed. Well, there was a delay announced a month and a half ago as well, and we see how well that worked out. Activists believe there's no time left to lose, especially since President-elect Donald Trump has been a longtime supporter of the project. Well, the demonstrators tonight, they are calling for a nationwide united front to join the Standing Rock Sioux in North Dakota, where clashes with police have led to hundreds of arrests. Live here in Seattle, Joel Marino, Como News.